So we're starting to get to that part of mine colonies, which I really quite enjoy. And that is the automation part, where we're slowly starting to get up a lot of different builds just to help us with the day-to-day -day running of our colony. And the less that I need to do, and the lazier that I can be, the better I feel. And all of that takes us to what I'm wanting to do today, which is basically just continue with that automation process and get up some new buildings just to help with that. Elia is after two glowstone at the moment for whatever build that she's up to, so I will head off to hell to get her that. She is actually making our fancy gate here, which is going to require quite a lot of different items to go into it. So this probably isn't a bad place to start with us trying to teach as many of these recipes to our different villagers as we can here. Once again, she's trying to help with this automation process. The gate that she's making is this one just over here by our new Tier 2 University that Ava has just finished. And this gate will eventually take you down to the lower half of our Civic District, which I've just tunnelled through here at the moment, but eventually we will come straight through to what is our bathhouse. And I've put down a boundary as well just to indicate that this is the other half of our civic district here. So this whole area is going to come along pretty nicely, I feel. But I'm a lot happier with the placement of our university here. I think it's going to fit in with our other kind of educational buildings that we will just put around it as well. So this is why we've upgraded it to Tier 2, which does mean that we now have access to Tier 2 researches. So we can go for researches like this rock and roll one here to unlock our crusher's hut and this requires a stonemason's hut at least at level 1. The stringwork research is going to unlock our fletcher's hut and this only requires a sawmill at least at level 1. Similar to hell, heaven doesn't yet have a fishing hut so we can't unlock the sifter's hut because we would need a fisher's hut at least to level 3. So that may be something that we will need to think about putting in just to get this unlock. We are currently researching Memory Aid, which is going to allow our workers to learn 25% more recipes, and this is going to take about an hour until it's complete. But that's just going to help buildings like our sawmill, just so that they can learn some more recipes here. There is one particular civilian research that I want to get ASAP here, and it's this outpost research here just to increase our max citizen population by 25, which is going to require a house totalling at least level 4, which we certainly have here in the colony. The only requirement missing is 64 stakes. We only have 20 of them inside our warehouse at the moment, so that will mean that I will need to go slaughter some cows to begin with here. We do have a cowboy's hut, or a cow hand's hut, whatever you want to call it, set up here in heaven already, and um, yes, as you can see, they're doing a really good job with all of the cows that are now around the place. Rex is over here, apparently our cowboy, and yes, you certainly have a few cows here that we could maybe get some steak from. What are you after? Just an axe? That's fine. We will teach the blacksmith how to make you guys some axes. For the moment though, I really just need a lot of steak, so little cow, thank you very much for your sacrifice. But we now have everything for the outpost research, just to increase our maximum citizen population, so let's go ahead with that. Well, whenever we finally get those two researches done, I will come back and put on some more researches, just to unlock some more buildings, again just to help with the automation process. In the meantime though, it's off to hell, and seeing how we're getting on there. I would like to get the same researches up and running in hell here as well, so let's quickly head to the warehouse just to see if they do have any beef. Oh, also, I decided to make hell a bit more scary just by upgrading this bridge here with some nice glass so they can look down to their impending doom. But I know that you guys have got your own cowboy's hut up now, just you don't have any raw beef here yet so might need to hold off on that population cap research just until we get some more. And come to think of it, I don't think we've made a start on any of these automation builds around here whatsoever. So that's definitely what we're going to need to do here to begin with. Yes, because without them we can't actually go for any more of these upgrades here. So that is definitely what we're going to need to do to begin with. 
One of our builders are making up a citizen hut for us and they're just going to require a few items to come to them for that. The other building hut doesn't have a worker inside it but whatever they were doing is nearly done which is rather unfortunate. And I've just noticed that Hell also has the same cow epidemic as Heaven does so maybe getting steak here for that upgrade might not be too out of the question. Isn't that right chap? This is where she's making the house currently, but I've just realised this is another bit with a lot of obsidian underneath it, which I really can't be bothered mining out, so I might just go cancel that build for the moment and see if we can actually move on to these newer ones. Oh, come on, game. I'm trying to get stuff done today. Ugh. One raider left. Okay, it seems that the environment has just taken them out, so we will be able to get back to work very quickly. Right, good. We have her now picking up the work order for our sawmill, so let's go assist her with that. There are a few items here that we will need to get to her, but nothing too tough. The toughest thing will just be trying to keep her alive down here. But I really want these builds up, so I am going to stick around here and just protect you. Maybe also, unfortunately, have to help you. Well, that's as much as I'm prepared to help out here, so Ayla, you continue on with the good work, and we'll soon, shortly, get up our sawmill. I did see that we had another citizen pick up the job of a builder, so we now have Remy, and they are currently doing our big field upgrade, which they just require a few more spruce fences and a lantern, which I would really like to go help them out with, just so that they can come over here and then help us with this area, but I'm just worried that the second that I leave here, a nasty is then going to come over and kill this worker. Right, in fact, I just made the items there, so you take them into the warehouse, deliver them to our builder. I am not leaving this builder's side at the moment. I'm really not trusting any of the nasties down here today. Well, I just seen that the builder finished off our field decoration there, so what I'm going to get them to do is come make this stone mason hut next, which, as this is right over lava, Good luck to them. But I think our other builder is pretty much done with setting things up here at the moment, so we'll probably just be away requesting some resources to come to them, which actually isn't going to be that many of them. They're already 84% supplied, so just a few more items to go, and they'll be absolutely fine to make up our sawmill. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to help out Remy with this build. It's pretty open where I've got it placed so we'll just need to wait and see the type of mess that she makes here. I legit was just away for two seconds to the warehouse. Are you kidding me? So quite some time and a lot of builders later, we are finally starting to make some progress here. I've got no idea who our current builders are, but I'm aware that the one doing our stonemason hut just died into some lava there. So that's always good. But we do finally have some of these areas now prepared and dug out a little bit just for these buildings to be placed into. So eventually our builders will start requesting some items for me to get just so they can build them. And in fact, here's some of the items that they're already requesting. So I can spend a little bit of time here just getting them those things. And after today actually, whenever we get these new buildings up, hopefully I won't need to do that ever again for them because they'll be self-sufficient here. But to begin with here though, there are quite a few items that I will need to get them. So that's both our builders now supplied with everything that they're going to require for both the builds here. I think we're making up the sawmill and just on the hill there we are making the blacksmith hut. So with any luck they will survive just long enough to build these and then we can actually start getting some workers into them and getting some recipes taught to them. But that's good, that is our sawmill now up to tier 1, so that means that we can go for some new researches within our university. The blacksmith hut was coming along pretty nicely until our builder was just killed there, so it too will be up very shortly once we get in another builder. But we've now had enough time passing here in hell for us to get this outpost research, which has increased our maximum citizen population by 25, 
meaning that we can now get up to 50 citizens here. So that's going to be potentially 50 more citizens that can be killed to the mobs around the place. And because we now have a tier 1 sawmill, we can now go for the stringwork research to unlock our Fletcher's hut. So we'll go with it. We have Remington making our stonemason hut at the moment. They've got everything that they require, but this is the building that is over the lava, so it's going to take quite some time for them to be able to build it. And we have Cecily doing our blacksmith hut, which they are supplied with everything here. I'm just not sure why we're not building it. Probably some mobs going to be causing some issues, so... Let's head over there and see what's going to get them killed. Well eventually, we finally had a builder finish off our blacksmith, so we now have a tier 1 blacksmith down here in hell as well, which does have a worker inside it surprisingly, so that does mean that we can actually start teaching us build some recipes. Which will be good actually, because we do have a lot of requests here that are going to require some form of metal to make them. And I've just noticed that our other builder is looking for two gold ore. Um, okay, I will need to go back to heaven for that. But for the meantime, I can come to our blacksmith and just teach him some of these recipes here. So this sword one in particular will be quite handy for them, because then our guardsmen can actually be prepared to fight some of these nasty buggers that are just kind of walking around the place. So at least that's now a few items off of our request system here, and once we get up some other builds, such as our Fletcher, we'll be able to take care of even more requests. And that is our stonemason hut pretty much complete here, we've just got a couple more torches to put into it. And right behind our smeltery is pretty much complete as well. I think it's just the same story of just putting in a few more torches. So that is all of the buildings that I did place down here, now pretty much up and ready. Once we get in another builder, they can just finish off the really stupidly simple job that he was supposed to do, and then it's time for us to start upgrading them, just so then we can start teaching some more recipes to them. So I'm now really happy that Hell has got a lot of new builds just to help it with its automation process, but that is certainly enough of Hell for me today, so let's head back to heaven. Ilya is still doing her fancy gate decoration. There are a couple of items here that I don't think I can teach to any builds. Unfortunately, I might need to make them those things. And Eva is upgrading our sawmill at the moment, which there are a few items here which I could maybe teach to some people. I would assume that the stone mason would be able to make her nether brick walls. Yes. And they were able to learn the quartz pillar recipe as well, so that's two items that would have been off the list if we had a worker inside our stonemason's hut, which we don't yet have. We will need a combination of a dyer alongside a glass blowing hut to make a red stained glass panes here, so that's going to need to wait. And a combination of a dyer alongside our shepherd's hut to make the grey wool. A dyer's hut will require the rainbow heaven upgrade, and this is going to require a flower shop totaling at least level 3, alongside a university at level 3. But now that we have the university, in a more favourable place. I don't mind upgrading this to tier 3 actually. It's really just the flower shop that we will need to get, which we can get with flower power after we upgrade our composter hut to tier 3, which will mean actually placing down a composter here in heaven. Okay, we can go do that very quickly. Similar to Hell, we have had enough time pass now for our outpost research to be complete, so we should start getting in a little spat of some more citizens. I am tempted in the meantime then to go for the rails research, and this will allow our citizens to actually use rails, so maybe see if this subway system will work. It's only going to require 64 rails, which we've already prepared, so let's go ahead with that form of research. And inside our technology tab, we've already unlocked string work which has unlocked her Fletcher's hut so I'll now be able to actually place down a Fletcher's hut. So what I think I'll do next is unlock our Crusher's hut with the rock and roll research and all we're going to require is 64 pieces of stone for it. And I seen whilst I was getting these researches there that we actually had a little baby boom so let's go check on our population now. We now have 32 of 50 citizens here in heaven 
which is just absolutely perfect because we have a lot of new builds which are going to require a lot of new workers inside of them. Back inside the university there are another couple of researches that I want to go for. The flint stones to unlock our stone smeltery. This is going to require our smeltery build to be at least tier 3 which we'll get at some point. And to research those lungs which is going to unlock our glass blower's hut and this also is going to require our smeltery totaling at least level 3. So I'm definitely thinking that whenever Ava finishes off her build at the moment, we'll get her over here and we'll get her upgrading our smeltery hut. A Fletcher's hut is very simple to make, just some planks alongside some string, so that's one of them for us. We do already have a composter's hut, so all I need to do is find it a home, which I am thinking of placing it just somewhere down here in our other half of the agricultural district, probably just beside our shepherd's hut actually. So this is what a tier 5 Asian style composter hut looks like, and really nothing impressive about it at all. So let's just tuck it in pretty close to here actually. This is our tier 5 Asian style Fletcher's hut, which already looks so much better than that composter hut. And I'm thinking just to place it somewhere close to our warehouse here. Probably just exactly here. So let's go ahead with our Fletcher's hut. But I have seen that we have a new worker inside our stone mason's hut. So hopefully that will be off of our request system then, which they nearly were. All we require are some nether bricks to actually come to the stonemason to make the walls. So I wonder if you can actually learn the recipe for those bricks. Right, that's some nether bricks, which you can learn. That's perfect, although we will need a stone smeltery up just to actually make these nether bricks to begin with. But I've got loads in my own personal stash, so I'll just put those into the actual stash and then you can take those and make those bricks for them. I have requested some items to come over to me, but I know for a fact that our couriers will not deliver them to me because the warehouse is full at the moment. So I'm really hoping that our bakery has a worker inside it and that they're actually going to be able to do something with these eggs. Which our baker might be able to make some cakes for us using the eggs if their bakery was between tier 2 and 5. And as our bakery is only at tier 1 at the moment, we will need to upgrade that first. So, Ava, you're also coming to do this. Right, I suppose I better head to our warehouse then and see how many eggs are clogging it up today. 1,500 of them. You know what? That's not as many as I thought there was going to be. But that's only because I've already started taking some of the eggs out of the warehouse and put them into some storage here. So, yes. Maybe the eggs are still a bit of an issue. But until we do make up another warehouse purely just for all of these things, then I'm just going to need to deal with them myself. We've got a few interesting items now inside a request system. There are a few boots and helmets which we can teach to the blacksmith alongside the Fletcher whenever it comes up. I'm still working on the grey wool, but we now have some honey bottles and some golden apples for the hospital. Honey bottles can be made by the assistant cook at her restaurant whenever it gets up to tier 3 and this is going to require honey blocks alongside glass bottles. It used to be the apiary that would make the honey bottles, so I'm not sure if that is a change for 1.16 or if that's just an alternative way to actually get them. But I'll head over to our beekeeper's hut and just see what they can do for us. These builds here are really going to require a florist to be made, just so then we can start automating giving them some flowers. But what are you up to champ? Can you make us any honey? They are currently breeding our bees for us, which is absolutely fine, and they are collecting honeycomb, but I can actually change that so that they collect both honeycombs and honey for us. So at some point you will probably start asking for some glass bottles, which I'll just need to supply you with. Please tell you what kind of flowers you should feed to the bees. Oh, okay then. I didn't realise I had to do that. Well, you know what? Just feed them anything at all that you have here. Maybe not weather roses, but everything else? Sure. And now you're asking for some glass bottles. That's absolutely fine. I can get you those as well. Until we do get up the glass blower's hut, 
then they will get you them. So it does seem that our apiary is still the main way for us to get these honey things, and maybe the restaurant is just an alternative way to get them as well. Ah, <sighs> of course we do. Just, of course we do. Well, we have enough guards around the place that they should be able to handle that for me, so I'm just going to continue on with getting them everything that they're going to require here. But I'll give our beekeeper hut these glass bottles there, and whenever they come back to work, Hopefully that will be everything that they will require. Golden apples are the next thing on the list that I might need to sort out for them, which our blacksmith might be able to make for us, which is rather interesting. But I'll probably just teach it to the cook here, although we will require it up to tier 3 again. Next on the list afterwards, I seen that we are requiring acacia logs from our forester, who should be growing them out here because I'm pretty sure I planted down a lot of acacia saplings. Um, okay, I might get some bone meal and come out to make some of these saplings for them, just so then they have some fully grown trees to chop down. And I still have to get the grey wool going here, which I'm just waiting on some dyes coming in, but this is part of the automation that I like. It's always like a puzzle here. There's one of the raiders now dead, just trying to find the right type of build to make the right type of item, just so then our colony is a bit more self-sufficient. But this is the grey wool that you've been after then, Ava, so you get out and continue on with your sawmill build. And apart from a few more items here, which we will just teach to these new builds once we get them up and running there, that's pretty much everything that I'm going to require to get them here, for the moment at least. But I think we will continue with this automation spree next time, because hell took quite a lot longer than I thought it was going to here today, just with all the lovely deaths that it has. So yes, we'll pick this up next time, we'll get some more buildings placed down, we'll get some more buildings upgraded, and we will really hammer into the overall automation process, I think. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of Mine Colonies Heaven and Hell, and as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, then why not give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel as well, just to keep up to date with us here. But until next time, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now everyone, bye bye.